653, let's get you the five things you need to know before you go. COVID-19 hospitalization rates trickling down in Colorado, but our overall seven-day average positivity rate is still up around 9%. The state's goal is to keep that under 5% as of Monday night. We learned just over 20% or about one out of every five Colorado kids between the ages of 5 and 11 have gotten at least one dose of a vaccine. Some teachers in Pueblo School District 60 are seeing an extra thousand dollars in their bank account just weeks before winter. The district announced that they gave that money to staff members who were fully vaccinated by November 10th. They say there will be another opportunity for other staff members to get money again later on in the school year if they chose to get vaccinated after that first stipend went out. An elected Pueblo City Council member could lose his seat before he is even sworn in. Vicente Martinez Ortega won the Bessemer District 4 seat in November. News 5 has learned he's facing a felony charge after police say he damaged and vandalized the Christopher Columbus statue in downtown Pueblo back in May. City Council, the charter says no convicted felon can run for election or hold office. Martinez Ortega has not been convicted. He has a plea hearing scheduled for January 7th. Expect to see some lane closures on I-25 between South Academy and Santa Fe Boulevard. CDOT crews will be doing some emergency paving work from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. today through Thursday. And speeds will also be lowered to 55 miles an hour. So do remember, slow down or just avoid that stretch of the interstate if possible. Sam? So our forecast here involves a cooler and breezy day today. And then as we go forward into time, we're going to be looking at potential record heat on Thursday. Now into the weekend, we get a little cooler again with mountain snow next Tuesday. Let's get you out the door right now. Temperatures are in the 40s and 30s across the interstate. Into the plains, we're mostly in the 30s. Denver 36, 47 out the door in Colorado Springs, 32 into Pueblo. So it feels pretty cool this morning, but in our temperature trends, we'll warm up decently well. Temperatures into the 50s through Colorado Springs from noon to 3 o'clock. And I think in Pueblo, we could get up near 60 right around 3 o'clock. So overall, not a bad day coming our way. High temperatures this afternoon, we're set to be in the 50s and 60s, just kind of spread around. So overall today, a pretty good day. Before we go, let's take a look at our long range forecast. So tomorrow we get a little warmer at 69. Not a bad day there with the sunshine, and we are looking at the 70s out on Thursday, which not only is a record day for temperatures, if we hit 71, it'll tie the latest first measurable snow on record. So we know we're going to be warm there. Let's go to traffic. In our traffic camera, we'll do a look at, oh, we'll just go into our traffic feed. That's okay. 